Well, now we're up to the latest hit for a superstar who grew up picking cotton by day and dancing till she dropped at night. She was born Annie Mae Bullock in Nutbush, Tennessee. Her father was the caretaker of a cotton plantation, and as part of her duties, before school in the morning and after class in the afternoon, Annie Mae would work in the fields picking cotton by hand. It was backbreaking work, and the thistles on the cotton plants would rip and tear Annie Mae's hands. But she kept her spirits high by thinking about the evening, because that was when she got to go to the local juke joints and roadhouses and dance. Annie Mae used to bop till she was ready to drop. She told us, quote, It was music that set me free. Every night I'd lose myself in the rhythm and the sound. All the pain would vanish when the music hit my soul. Well, music became Annie Mae Bullock's life, and it was in a nightclub years later that she met a musician named Ike Turner, a man who eventually married Annie Mae and renamed her Tina. Tina Turner. Now, nearly three decades later, the woman who used to pick cotton picks up three notches in our survey, climbing to number 34 with her 18th Top 40 hit. Here's Tina Turner and the best. The hits from coast to coast. Now, the story of the sensational comeback of Tina Turner. Nine years ago, after more than 15 successful years in the music business as half of the team of Ike and Tina Turner, Tina walked away from an unhappy marriage and music partnership with her husband Ike. She says that when she left the marriage, she had only 36 cents in her purse and no other assets at all. And because Tina had left the act, she was the one responsible for monetary damages resulting from all the Ike and Tina Turner shows that had to be canceled. And that amounted to hundreds of thousands of dollars. How did Tina come back? Well, it was a slow process. At first, she began to get jobs working in cabarets in resort cities like Las Vegas, Tahoe, and Reno. Then she became a Buddhist, and she found that the chanting that's part of Buddhist practice helped her to find peace of mind. She signed with artist manager Roger Davies, who also manages Olivia Newton-John, and she started paying her dues all over again. A small club here, a small club there, opening concerts for other acts, and the occasional one-shot recording. And slowly, ever so slowly, the word began to spread that Tina Turner was on her way back, and that she was singing better than ever. When she played a club called The Ritz in New York City, Keith Richards and David Bowie came to cheer her on, and so did some people from Capitol Records. They offered Tina a solo recording contract, and Tina Turner was back. This week, the latest song from that comeback album, Private Dancer, is at number five in our survey. American, American Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Now we're up to the new number one song. And it's by the star who's waited 24 years for a number one song. When she first hit the top 40, she got as high as number 27. That was back in 1960, and it was with this rhythm and blues hit. That got to number 27, it was in 1960, and it was a hit titled A Fool in Love. This woman who sang it was still rocking a decade later and still looking for that first number one when she hit number four with Proud Mary and followed that with the song about her hometown. From 1973, that's the hit song, Nutbush City Limits. Did it reach number one? Nope, got as high as number 22. Today, 11 years later, after 24 years of trying, she's finally hit the top. Here now is 44-year-old Tina Turner with the new number one song in the USA. What's love got to do with it? American Top 40. These are enduring legends and the songs that made them chart champions. The triathlon of rock and roll. Number 27. There's a Latin expression, carpe diem, seize the day. And here's a woman who did just that. Seize the day and launched a career. Way back in 1956 in St. Louis, Anna Mae Bullock and her sisters were regulars at a local nightclub. And the house band at the place had a leader who kept telling her that he'd let her sing with him someday. One night, tired of waiting, she just grabbed the microphone and started wailing. The band leader, Ike Turner, was blown away. And at 17 years old, Anna Mae Bullock joined the band and became Tina Turner. That was more than 30 years ago. 48-year-old Tina Turner's a true chart champion. At number 27 in our countdown, here's her top five smash, Better Be Good to Me. Tina Turner. 
Turner, warn him, better be good to me. With 16 top 40 hits across three decades, including five top 10s in just the 80s, Tina twirls at number 27 in our triathlon of rock. With all the hit facts and figures, I'm Shadow Stevens, and we're up to that woman who adds her name to an exclusive page in the AT40 Book of Records. She's only the second woman in chart history to hit the top 40 in four different decades. Now, the first woman to do this just did it earlier this year when she spent one week in the top 40 with steamy windows. That meant Tina Turner had at least one top 40 hit in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and the 1990s, four decades. And now we have a woman who joins Tina. Casey's Coast to Coast. Casey's Top 40. Rising four notches to number 30 is a singer recently honored with a World Music Award for her lifelong contribution to the music industry. Here's Tina Turner with I Don't Want to Fight. Sixteen years ago this week, back in 1985, one of the top hits in the USA was by a superstar. A superstar who recently put on what she says was her last performance. She said goodbye with 116 live performances around the world. Over the past four decades, Tina Turner has put on hundreds of shows performing for millions of fans. But last year, at age 61, she decided it's time to hang up her dancing shoes. Tina called it quits with a final world tour for an audience of more than 3 million fans. She put on her last show in Anaheim, California at the beginning of December 2000. What's next for Tina Turner? Well, she says, quote, I'm much too creative to just go home and sit on the couch. But she also says that after that long tour, going home for a while sounds pretty good. Quote, just to be in my own kitchen, in my own sitting room. It means a lot to the soul. Six years ago this week, Tina Turner had one of the top hits in the USA. Here's We Don't Need Another Hero. Counting down the hits with Casey Kasem.